Okay, well, so here we are at Alan Eaton Studios now, and we're about to embark on a really exciting part of the project. This is where we record the song. So we've got some fantastic students who are going to play bass and drums and guitar and keyboards and some great backing vocalists as well. And to help them, we've got one of the best drummers in the country, Jerry Pantasis. Craig Newman on bass. What do you mean here on the floor? And Simon Patterson on guitar. So we've got really some of the top industry professionals here, some of the best students. So uh, today, hopefully, if all goes to plan, the song will start to really take shape. What we're doing at the moment with, with uh, Palaia, it's um, we're getting her to lay down the foundation for this track. We've been working on constructing different parts. Yeah. The intro, uh, the verse, pre the pre-chorus, and the chorus. So you'll hear in the in the in the final product that there's going to be distinctive parts. Well, that's feeling great. That was great, you two guys. That sounded fantastic. Yeah, the parts are, are perfect. It's going to work really well. So what we're going to do here is try and work out a, um, a rhythm section part. So we're set up to play along with our drummer in there. And um, our goal should be just to lay down a fairly solid, sort of simple, straight ahead part. Yeah. Once you've got the drum part, it's all kind of just intuitive. Like, you know, you just kind of feel what to do. And we've got Craig there, he can just say, you know, oh, you can play this or maybe do some of this. So it all feels pretty natural. Great. Yeah. I know there's a little bit towards the end there, but I reckon that now that you've done that, the first verse can probably be a bit more straightforward and then yeah. the second verse can have more colour and movement and stuff in it, if Absolute, that makes sense. Absolutely. Yep. So do you want to try another pass with a... Yeah, sure. Do you want to go in from the top? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're now adding the keyboard layer to the song and we're just working out our various parts, working out, you know, what, what role the keyboard should play in the song. The parts are all great. I reckon, yeah, Pedally and long there, start to build up through there, sorry, through here, and then you can drop the pedal out for the chorus. Yeah. Elliot's had some fantastic ideas. We've got, you know, a, a really good solid bed of an electric piano sound with some organ for the chorus. And there's some nice little ad-lib things that, that Elliot's done in the, in the middle eight, in the bridge section. So that's good. I reckon this is this is sounding really good. Next up is our guitarist. So we're going to fill fill up the track now with lots of guitar. But, you know, um, yeah, finding something that you feel comfortable with that that just knits that drums yeah, yeah, yeah. and bass and keys. We're going to do a, exactly what what you're hearing there, a little muted guitar part. What you try to do is whatever you hear on the floor, that's what you want yeah, yeah. to go to tape. Does that make sense? Yeah. The whole idea, as far as the guitar goes, is to find something that's going to unify the track a bit, add some of that pop element, and um, I guess for Connor to come up with ideas and so on and bounce them off myself and John. It's a case of editing some things and working it around where the vocal's going to sit and so on as well. I think. Some of those little lines are really nice in like the pre-chorus especially. Are you yeah, thinking sure. more sixteenths, John, than the eighths in that chorus? I think so, yeah. Okay. Good luck. See you at the end. I've been listening to a lot of kind of 70s, 60s Motown kind of thing lately and I feel like that might have been portrayed through some of the lines I was doing. It's good to have someone in the room being able to guide you through it and like give you hints and all that stuff. It's, it's good. It's been fun.
not quite finished yet. The finishing touch, of course, will take place in uh, two days from now when we'll be up in Sydney and Darren Percival is going to be uh, putting down his lead vocal. He's a, an absolutely brilliant singer and I know he's going to bring a lot of heart and soul to the song and to the project. Whatever you want to be, you can be. Whatever you want to see, you can see. Huxley said that after silence, the thing that comes closest to expressing the inexpressible is music. So at a time when they might find it difficult to express themselves on various levels, when they've got an instrument in their hands or they're given the opportunity to sing, they're being able to connect to parts within them that they can freely express themselves, which I think is just really important for their development. Oh, 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 oh. I can see the future, a story that is mine. It's been a real success. Each of the musicians has brought their own ideas to the table. And what's happened then is that the song has gone to the next level today. And uh, that's a, a very good result. It starts right now, it starts right. Here's a chance to change the world. It was a really good experience because I've never done something like this before and it was it's just interesting to see how it all works and how it just all eventually comes together. We want to be anything. So keep on, keep on, keep on. Enlightened. Um, it's just been a really awesome experience and you get something to take away from it as well in the form of an actual recording. You can say, you know, hey, that was me. Keep on, keep on. Oh, oh, oh. It's been amazing to be a part of this project. It's a great song. Oh, oh, oh. Keep on, keep on.